Welcome to Bellinus. We will be talking about deforestation and how it affects the world. Yearly, trees get cut down and land gets cleared, which causes CO2 to not be recycled into oxygen because we're losing all the trees and they're not able to absorb the CO2 anymore. Humans do preserve a small area of trees, but it is not enough for the world to process, especially because we don't have... Because... What? <laughs> we don't have... Brad, you better... But it is too much for the earth to process because we have too much CO2 built up in the atmosphere. We have placed some inquiry questions for us to answer, for you to better understand the situation of the world. Good. No. What has been the change in forest coverage over the years? Natural expansion of forests refers to an expansion of forests throughout natural successions onto previously non-forested lands, usually abandoned agricultural land. Hey, what have the giant carbon dioxide levels changed over time? From 2001 to 2020, British Columbia lost 8.8 .8 million hectares of tree coverage, equivalent to 12% decrease in tree cover since 2000. What have you gathered on the relationship between deforestation and carbon dioxide levels? Forests and trees store carbon. When they are degraded or destroyed, they release all their carbon and are now unable to store some, which will cause the atmosphere to heat up. Thus, it is a big contributor to global warming. Hey Lily, what are the Western ways of knowing and the impact on the environment? So pretty much Western ways of knowing are based off of science rather than stories and legends. So Western ways of knowing, they're going to study how deforestation has affected us in the past. Um, and then, you know, also pre make a prediction for the future. Um, and yeah, it's based off of science and math and logic. So they've like, they've been watching the temperature is rising, they've been watching the CO2 rising, and they're making estimations based off of that. I think I pronounced estimations wrong. It's fine though. Brad, what are some of the indigenous ways of knowing the impact humans are making on the environment? The indigenous ways of knowing are is that they help educate people to better understand what is happening throughout our world. And they will do everything in their power to help and educate you as much as they can. There are many ways that humans have impacted the environment. Deforestation plays a big role in multiple climate issues. When we cut trees down, not only are we emitting more CO2, we are also cutting out our air recycling programs. Less trees equal more CO2. When the trees decompose, they release CO2. So do the machines that we use to cut and transport. Music video. Stop! <laughs> if you cut down trees, that's the disease. Cut down trees. Cut down trees. Cut down trees. Cut down trees. You lose these leaves. <laughs> Who's rising? And the animals are dying. Lily out. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Hey, no, Lily, so you have to say, what is the change? Welcome to Felinus. We will be talking about deforestation and how it affects the world. Yearly, trees get cut down and they get turned into land, which causes... Let's see if it, like, this where... Baby sucks. I know. Why do we have a baby? Uh, it's Lily's. David, what <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was a good two seconds in for, uh, no, it wasn't even that. From 2001 to two, no. I'm a drug no. addict. <laughs> Lily, what is the change of uh, carbon dioxide levels said... of over time? Oh, hold on, I'll say that. <laughs> 